Huh, Maddie? That's gross, Maddie. Milton, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Morning guys, today is the Memorial Day holiday. Happy Memorial Day. I don't know if that's something you wish people, um, but that means I am up moving a little later than usual. So I'm about to start working out now, doing my official first workout of the Cut Down the KetoCon Challenge. Why am I so excited? I don't know. I'm just so excited to finally be getting disciplined, getting back on a plan and feeling great about it. And you know what that means? It is zip is time. Oh, Black Cherry, what a complicated relationship we have. At one time, you were my favorite, and now, like, are you just regular? Like, are you just meh? I don't know. Like, no, you're still delicious, right? Because, like, they're all delicious, but still, you got berry, you got pink lemonade, you got fruit punch, like, oh, I mean, come on now. Oh, goodness, third time's a charm. All right, guys. Let's get ready to shake it today. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, let's see what Black Cherry has for us today. To a great holiday. Woo! Oh, it's still tart and delicious. Wow. I had entirely too much fun exercising with my mom this morning and after we were done like we just stood there talking for so long and I finally looked up and I was like oh my god it's time to eat so that was the easiest I've ever fasted up until this time like in the longest time I can remember so I had a lot of fun but now I'm about to have a lot of fun with this breakfast that I'm having so we see here I have three eggs I have two slices of bacon and a piece of sausage um, and then also randomly last week I bought a 24 pack of water. Did you know you can get a 24 pack of bottled water for like $2? That is way too cheap for this much plastic, right? So uh, luckily, I mean, I do recycle. So I have now I have a ton of bottles of water to drink through. So I am going to be drinking a water probably, you know, two or three of these today. I'll let you know when I decide to eat something else. I have calculated my macros. I did have to change some things up. So that was exciting. <laughs> but I will let you know uh, what's going on when it's time for me to eat. So I'm having this, I'm having this, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, as you just saw, I whipped up, literally just whipped up some heavy whipping cream into an amazing dessert. So this is literally just heavy whipping cream. I used a few drops of this liquid monk fruit sweetener, like of course sweeten it to taste. I don't know, maybe 10 drops, I have no idea. And like it just comes up to just, I'm just gonna... It's dessert. It's just a, just a fluffy whipped dessert. Um, so I had 200 calories that I needed to fill with pretty much just fat. So I could have added some tablespoons of butter to stuff or I could have taken this four tablespoons. This is all this is. Four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I could have added that to a bulletproof coffee. Like I could have found plenty of other ways to get this into my diet. But like my favorite way will just always be to whip up some cream and then just put some sweetener in it. Mmm. Oh man. And like, it's so heavy, like hence the heavy whipping cream, but it's so filling. Like, I mean, this is 200 calories worth of dessert and you will feel that. Like it is so filling and I love it. Mmm. Woo. Okay. So what I had to do was take away a little bit of the cheese and protein that I was having. I had too much protein. I didn't have enough fat. Took off some cheese, added some heavy whipping cream and like, this is going to be a great week. Also, I am having one of my Zevias, so I'm just gonna like enjoy this till it's time for my cheese and pepperoni snack and like happy holidays.
That whipped cream was everything I needed in my life and more as will be this lovely cheese and pepperoni charcuterie situation I got going on today. So I was hoping that my macros allowed for me to have eight slices of this little cracker cheese, but alas, I can only do five, but that's okay, I'll live. So I have mild cheddar, Swiss, Colby Jack, and pepper jack. Then I have these thick cut pepperonis right here. Like, this is the whole situation right here. Mmm. Mmm. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and then honestly, it's not gonna be too much longer before I have dinner. Because even though I did start eating late today, I don't like to eat past like 6.30. So I'm going to enjoy this, have some dinner, and I'll be good to go. The charcuterie though. Alright guys, I am back with dinner. Uh, first of all, this is my second bottle of water that I'm going to drink. I am committed to drinking it for the rest of the day. And then we have dinner. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got that meat, that steak meat. Like, is, is that like superfluous, like steak meat? Is that redundant? I don't know. We have steak meat. We have that collie mash that I made, as well as some broccoli. And you can see right there, I got two tablespoons. I got one tablespoon on top, one tablespoon of butter hidden somewhere down there in that uh, broccoli canyon. So I am excited to try this. Okay guys, first, we got the broccoli. It's just boiled slash steamed broccoli. Like, I'm fortunate enough to where I just flipping love the taste of broccoli. Vegetables, yes! I know I say this all the time, guys, but like this cauliflower, this sour cream cauliflower dish, like might be the next recipe video I make. I know I say that every time, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this is so good, it's so simple. All it is, is cauliflower and six tablespoons of butter, six tablespoons of sour cream. Salt and pepper, oh my gosh, woo! Now we got the steak. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So tough and chewy, just like I like it, you guys. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to say, but I'm not even joking. Like, I love tough, chewy meat. So this meal is a win, a definite win. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna drink my water, and then I'll be back for dessert. Okay guys, that does it for me today. I got my Zevia, I got my Jello. Overall, today was great. I really, really liked the challenge of meeting specific goals and being intentional about exactly what I was eating. Uh, it, it made me do some things I haven't done in a long time, like that whipped cream, which was amazing. So I'm really looking forward to the next four weeks, the cut down to KetoCon challenge. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.